episode 3 of the Castle Keeper's Guide for Troll Lord Games. And we're making a little bit of progress. Like last night when I was with you all, and we took a look at this, it was basically just empty squares, right? So last night we've started to plan out, we're starting to sketch out what we want in each panel on this project. And if you've not been here before, it is the Castle Keeper's Guide. There are 12 maps going from Thorpe. Hamlet village all the way through to a metropolis. Likewise, we have a keep or a tower. We have a Martin Bailey castle and we have a major castle. So we get oh, and a fortified camp too. So 12 maps in all patrol lord games. I'm doing it on one canvas. They're going to be printing them on separate pages. You can see the pages here. Full page, half page, quarter page, etc. So that's what we're working on. And I'm going to resist the temptation to jump into the frames because I really want to work on the frames. I've got this design in my head that I want to work on. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to zoom in on the Thorpe and I think we're going to actually work some of the buildings. I really want to do the frame, but we're going to work the buildings. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to hit up this Thorpe. i got to decide what I want to do with the lettering. Do I hide Thorpe? Do I move Thorpe somewhere else? Do I just put it down like the bottom here? Do I just hide it? Should I just hide it for now? Because we know what we're working on. Likewise, with that number five, that's just letting Trollord uh, know how many buildings I'm intending to have on this map. So I don't know the best way that I'm going to approach these logistical things. But I think what we're going to do is we're just going to turn off Thorpe for now. We know what it is. We know what the size of the actual print is. And I think what I'm going to do is we've got a few sketch layers here. I'm actually just going to merge all of these into one. And we're actually going to throw some opacity on that bad boy. And we'll, we'll alternate it. And as we get them done, I'm going to delete that section and we'll move on to the next section. Well, like, delete the sketch, right? Alright, and I think we can get rid of this background colour here now too, because we're ready to work on this panel. So let's get rid of that. And let's, uh... Let's start, let's start working this. I always create a layer called ink. We'll do our colouring underneath it. And we... Ready to work on this thing. Alright. This is a thorp. I want the thorp. Sorry, I feel like I got a wet nose. The thorp. Five buildings. This will have six because I'm going to add a barn. Probably close family. That's what happens, okay? You know, this close family living next to each other. And. But I want to also imply a level of, I don't want to say low income, but not rich. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really want to do slate roofs and everything. So I'm probably going to do thatch. And what my plan is, is as we move from Thorpe to Hamlet to Village, we're going to start introducing uh, improved building materials, I think. Now, I haven't asked Troll Lord if there's a particular part of the world that this is meant to be. I mean, is this Mediterranean? I've just assumed that this was kind of your standard high fantasy type of thing, and therefore medieval. I'm going to draw this, and if they come back and go, oh, no, 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 it's all got to be completely Norse, then that's fine. I'll just keep this to one side and we'll move on. But I don't think that they're trying to be that specific. So uh, let's just jump into it. And I, you're going to see too, as we go from the Thorpe to the Hamlet to the village to the town, we're going to start introducing bigger structures too, you know, where slightly more wealthy people live, but, you know, there are also people who have expanded on their property and maybe they've got this concept of like a chieftain or a mayor or something too. So we'll be introducing that as we go. Architectural considerations. So um, I'm going to start with the terrain. Okay, what, what's our brush size here? 20. Let, let's make 20 our standard, shall we? Let's do that. And I always typically start with the terrain because it frames everything. I very rarely start with buildings because a building slot in between 
where I've decided I'm going to do trees and that type of stuff. I, I think in this instance, we're going to actually start with the river. And I'm leaving, I'm leaving some gaps on the riverbank here because I'd like to actually put like vegetation overflowing it. Now, is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pen pressure size. I'm tempted to reduce it down a notch. I'm tempted to make it a little smaller. And what, what's the print size going to be about that? That's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I think the details will drop it down a bit smaller. So like 20, 15, 10, yeah, I think I'll be our range. As she says, as she starts drawing details on the tree. that's gonna work what is my objective for this session well, I, you know, I think I'd actually like to get the Thor completely drawn. I think that's what I'd like to do. And that should be possible. I actually rarely draw at this scale, so we're going to see. We're going to see. What I normally do in the case of like a big copse of trees or something is I normally just do this big, huge, I'm going to call it cloud type of shape. But we can't do that at this zoom. We've got to really draw individual trees and bushes and things like that. I think it's okay if we have some like trees that are butted up against other trees, you know, I, I think that's absolutely fine. But I've got I've to gotta resist the temptation to draw at the scale I normally draw at. This has got to be way zoomed in. this like natural sort of demarcation point where kind of like there was a building nudging up against it and the village is kind of set away from it and later on we're actually going to do little woodcutters place right here so i think i think this will be okay for now i'm still wondering about the thickness of this bush So farms, 
what do I want to say about farms? Medieval farms weren't like the gigantic, almost planned things that you see in like modern America, right? Um, they were way more inclined to follow terrain, um, be a little uneven on their edges, be edged with like good uh, like hedgerows and that type of thing. Now this is maybe a multi-generational family, so I think hedgerows would be appropriate. Maybe some trees though too. Um, you know, they're not going to, if they've got an option, have a tree in the middle of the field. Uh, certainly not a copse. So things like groups of trees, that type of thing, would be in the edges. And they would have farmed the other side. Because they've got to till their shit and stuff, right? So I think we're going to actually mark out these two fields here. Hey, Devil Dwarf. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Alyssa channel. I think this will be a good project for reviewing design considerations. I think it's what, because we're going to talk about each stage and some of the features of it. So I think this will be good for it. It'll be educational. All right. Um, would they have fencing in things? Yes, I think absolutely they would. How much fencing versus hedging do I want to do? Eh, I think I'm going to lean towards the, the, the hedges. Hedges are very European, you know? I mean, in England, they actually started tearing down all of the old hedgerows and replacing them with, like, I don't know, walls and fences and stuff. Because hedgerows actually take maintenance. And a lot of, like, farmers nowadays just... They don't want to be dealing with that shit. Alright. So, let, let, let's, let's see if this is going to work. Because this is an odd scale for me to be working at. But we're going to approach it in the same way that I would actually approach a much larger map. And I think... Let's not forget... That they're gonna have to have some kind of gate. two fields you know implying like this family this extended family five buildings what we're we talking about 25 people or so maybe they've got three or four fields in general that they work on from do is we're going to split these fields like we're going to have a boundary line between them and later on when we come to the hamlet it's actually we're forming this area so I'm going to do it right down here it'd be kind of cool I'm really interested in this project this is going to be like an evolution of a settlement and I think that'll be kind of neat Why I went with hedge versus fence by the way is the hedge 
implies a certain level of time that is spent here, right? Um, like if you would literally just put down tools a year ago, you probably don't have a hedge yet. You might have a fence. And so with this being a multi-generational family, I want to invoke that sense that some years have gone by. Some years have gone by. This is not a dude that's just set down his little flag and gone, this be mine. So going with hedges, they'll they'll make it feel a little bit more mature. Well, that'd be too, like, you know, old. So let's stick with that. I'm really tempted to throw a tree, like, in the middle of the village, but we could do that any time. I am going to add some... Oh, yeah, okay, we've got a tree set. We've got a tree set. That's fine. That's cool. Um... And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna add a little bit of detail to the edge of the river here. Uh, what, what eraser have we got going here? Hold on a sec. Let's, let's do something that's a little gentler. Something like that. Okay. Now, the reason why I've just erased chunk is I actually... I want to just get... Oh, well, let's get rid of this guy. I'm not convinced that he would be there. I want to just get a couple of boulders, and we're actually going to do one sort of sticking out of the ground here. There we go. Let's get some details going. There we go. All right. Mm, don't like that. Let's come back to this. What I'm going to do is I'm drawing in some little currents of water. It implies flow. Little waves. I might actually do another little bit of um, rocks. I might do that. I want to do more rocks. I think I kind of do. I think I kind of do, and as part of a reason is later on we actually we're gonna turn. I think one of these houses into a, like a little fishing house. No, it's off. It's off camera. This becomes well. No, that becomes actually the ferryman. I think this becomes the fishing house here so if we actually give the fishermen some rocks to stand on and everything i think that'd be kind of cool maybe fish get in amongst the rocks we'll get some weeds and stuff in there i'm going to draw some rocks it'll add a little bit more sort of visual interest to to sort of sections of the map
do is I'm just going to do a little riverbank here. All of this will get coloured later on, of course. We'll get some nice shadows in here. I'm actually going to start to remove some of the sketch and I'm actually going to bring the ink up on top of the sketch layer. Let's uh, let's get rid of some of the sketch. It will help the actual ink work shine through. We'll be able to differentiate one from another. There we go. Already looking a little bit better. Am I on the sketch layer? Come on. Like, what is, what is that? If, if that's not sketch. I mean, it is sketch. Well, why didn't you bloody erase? Your sketch, yeah, there you are. Okay, come on. If you're a sketch, out of it. If you're a sketchy cat, you get going. Going. Already, I think, take a chip. Nice, nice, nice. I love drawing maps. I love drawing maps. I love seeing them take shape. I love seeing the little stories emerge on them. I love imagining the people that live there. What they do in their day-to-day -day existence. And giving them, giving them that platform to play with. That's what it's all about. Alright, let's not be on the sketch layer. Let's just get some little details in here. And then we're going to start getting into some buildings. Because that's what it's all about. A little bit of rough ground, right, around the trees. Do we do the paths? No, we're going to come back and do the paths. Buildings first. Because the paths... Here's, here's, here's my train of thought. Terrain dictates, to a large degree, where buildings will be, right? Then the buildings appear, the buildings dictate where the paths will be as people move between them. So we're going to do the buildings. Let's get rid of that little bit of a sketch. Zoom out. Let's take a look at our handiwork. I think we'll get rid of our farm higgledy piggledy stuff. Yeah, let's do it while we're here. I think I'm going to keep the number five there. We might move it, but I'm going to keep the number five. As a reminder, not only to us, but to Troll Lord, how many buildings we're actually shooting for the map. Especially because later on, um, the, the volume of buildings kind of gets like a little bit cray cray, very quickly actually. You know, we go from 25 to 130. So I think that, that's a good reminder to us for what sort of density we're after. to paint that as slate and then play in a completely different type of building right so let's do this i was going to have this would be a barn so we've got one two three four five buildings right here and things that we need to consider that i wouldn't normally draw things like little roof overhangs things like um chimneys that type of stuff wood piles even next to a house So, Mr. Fisherman, Mr. Fisherman, I think I'm going to give Mr. Fisherman the wood shingle. Just seems to fit for me. If 
fireplace probably I, I tend to draw fireplaces like you know a chimney like right there but you know in, in actuality it would probably be on the like edge right so um, he might have more than one but let, let's not go too crazy on that because I also think that buildings that have multiple chimneys come up again start to imply a level of uh, sophistication wealth that I don't want to be here in our Thorpe just yet. So I think what we're gonna do Alright, you got a double chimney. And he, this guy's gonna be actually pretty sophisticated anyway. Just by his roof shape. Now, here's the other thing, too. We could draw a multi-floored house here and actually have some windows in the roof, right? But that, I also think, should be something that we start introducing as we get towards a village. So, I'm not going to do... We're going to make these kind of single-floor buildings right now. So while they've been here a while, I, I want their level of sophistication, the level of technology of the buildings to actually be a little bit on the simpler side. A little bit, I was going to say more immature, but I guess I, should, I, guess I should say less mature. Alright. And I... I'm... I'm... I'm going to draw roof detail on a different layer. That's where I was going with this. Because I actually, I actually feel like I should be drawing this in like, um, like a brown, not black. So if I actually draw it in a separate layer, I could actually grab it and change it. So I'm just going to, going to get the detail down for now. In fact, let, let's actually mark that so we know what we're doing with it. Hey, Miss Jay's here. Hello, young lady. Actually, um, I have a question for you, young lady. Uh, that is a verbal question, not a visual one. Although I do have a visual prop to show you, which is a shame. But maybe I could just email it to you separately. But maybe I should just PM you. Maybe I should just PM you. But basically, I have a client from a while ago that has come back. I was doing two, city for, two cities for him. I got halfway through one. He asked me to stop. He asked me to draw the other one. I did the other one, completed it, and he's just come back year and a half later and now we want the other one and i'm overbooked so miss j my and i've drawn half of the ink work so i have to finish the ink work maybe i'm two thirds of the way through the ink uh no, let's not be optimistic i'm halfway through so i can't do it i can't finish it i just don't have the bandwidth so my question to you miss j is would you have an interest in partnering on it assuming that we can get reasonable compensation split it with you Credit both ways. Both of us would be credited. I would finish the drawing. I would give it to you to colour. And as long as it, I think we could hit end of year, it would be good. If not, totally cool. I feel, I feel like I should be drawing in a lighter ink. Let's draw a lighter ink here. Let, let's go down to our turn. What is you? Go away. What is you? That's the word of the day. Let's let's do lighter. Now the beauty about drawing at this scale is it has to be about a certain different detail. Like when we're drawing a city, you know, we can have fun with the bathhouses, you know parks and whatever else we can't do that we're zoomed way in i mean yeah we can work on parks but there's not a park in the village so we have to actually add the shingles to the house i 
and I purposely actually hitting it with slightly lighter hand. Because I, what I really want to do is create more of a texture. I think this will work. I think this will work. I've got to be careful. I don't start getting too crazy with like it's not like I want to be symmetrical. Otherwise, I'd use actually the symmetry tool. I I want a certain imperfection here because I think it lends itself to um, a cheaper house, shall we say? But I've also got to be careful I don't suddenly start getting like a little bit too lackadaisical and I feel like I'm skirting that. Some of these, some of these shingles have got freaking big. And I think what we'll also do is I'm going to overhang some of these shingles on the edge of the roof. This is going to defeat the purpose of me drawing this on a separate layer, but screw it. I am going to regret this later on. You know, let, let's, we could always redraw that line in. said I was actually pressing slightly lighter with the pen but I ended up like not pressing at all so It would be kind of cool at this point to actually draw in um, like a hole in the roof. Maybe, maybe let's let's do a patched section of the roof or a tile that's slightly gone off kilter. You know. Princess Strega, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Are, do my eyes deceive me? Who is this stranger in the house? Long time no see indeed, young lady. Long time no see indeed. We have worked on so many projects. Good to see you. To what do we owe the pleasure? Oh, come on, what? Come on. I know you could do it. I know you could. You're looking all wonky. Come on, you're looking wonky. Princess, did you did you have a job? Um, do, what do I want to do with this? Um, that basically had you working at nights or something, so you, you couldn't attend anymore? I'm not sure about this. I'm really not sure about this. We'll come back to that. Yeah, I think, I think 
that's the type of thing I wanted to do. Just a little bit of an uneven edge of the house as the uh, roof tiles have kind of, you know, overhang a little bit in an uneven like a manner. We'll see. We'll see how far I want to take this. Well, young lady, it's good to have you here. It is good to have you here. I was actually off Twitch for like a month, three to four weeks. And last week was the first week of me coming back. So, happy Kawinky Dinks. How have you been, young lady? How is life treating you? For a penny and for a pound on this pint. So let's get rid of you. This is this is not how I'm gonna do this moving forwards. But let's if we if we're doing it, we're bloody doing it. about that. If anything, we've probably over-detailed it. Quarantine. Tell me about it, girl. And that's why I stopped streaming for a while, because it was getting to me. It dragged me down. And I didn't realise that it dragged me down until I realised I'd been off stream for like Then, then I knew, then I knew that the world was getting to me. Right, what do I want to do with this? This looks a little higgledy piggledy, but... Bush, but it's okay. We have 12 maps to put on this canvas. Let's not get too hung up on one bloody roof, right? for Gaxmore. Did you see that one completed? I ask because I am going to have cause to fire it back up again here shortly and add some labels. So if you're around, I'll be able to actually show you the map in detail. But if you've already seen it,
Let's say a bit of gag spot, okay. Did you see it all coloured and everything? Did you see it finished? It ended up being a real nice map. I was quite happy with it. Alright, that's just a little bit. Alright, something like that. Something like that. I could... I just did that in the end. You know what? Screw it. Don't do it, Faden. Don't do it. You're about to do something you're going to regret. says this is going out not to say the business is on open but since i live with a flatmate she doesn't want me to go in out no i actually get that she doesn't want you going out no no, no I, I i'm actually you know i'm gonna be really honest with you princess um i'm actually you know me i think you know me enough at this point um well i actually consider myself to be a pretty strong person and I, like, you know, I, I feel like I'm emotionally strong. I feel like I am mentally strong. And I, I'm physically strong. Whoa. But this actually, I'm actually having a hard time reacclimating myself now. Like, I mean, this thing isn't even over, right? It's still out there. Uh, it's still running rampant. Uh, I, but it's not like I'm scared of that. I'm respectful of it. I'm respectful that I don't want to be around people and to spread it, whether I'm getting it or giving it or whatever, uh, that I could deal with. That I could deal with. But I'm actually really struggling with the concept of actually re socializing with people. Like, there's a restaurant where we used to get breakfast every weekend without fail. It was, it was, it was our place. And I'm sure it's changed a lot now because I'm sure they couldn't keep their staff, right? But I actually mentally really struggle with the concept of going to that restaurant and sitting down in amongst other people. Like, I struggle with that. Even if they're, they're doing a half capacity and social distancing, that I, I surprise myself that I am struggling with that so much. Like, it, it's almost like I feel like I'm on Mars and this is where I'm going to be now for the rest of my life. And it, like, I, I, I feel like I'm going to have to reintegrate myself in baby steps. So I'm, I'm, see, I'm sorry that your, your, your restaurants went out of business. I really am. Like, did I fuck up on the roof detail? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit, but we're gonna we're gonna stick with the ink and the roof details. Yeah, I'm actually I don't I think my restaurant stayed open because they were doing deliveries during like when everything was shut down. But there's no way that they had all the wait staff on, and the wait staff knew us by you know first name. We were it was like cheers to us. They would give us free mimosas every time we turned up. They would always have our table prepared. It's like we were part of the family. And I, I'm scared now. I'm going to go back. And it, those those friends just aren't going to be there. So that makes me sad. That makes me really sad. Let's draw another house. Let's do thatch. Uh, oh, no, no. You, you know, I'm not quite done with this one. Let's stick with this one just one moment. Because what I want to do is kind of imply like a front porch area. But not, not like in the modern sense. Overhanging lean to, you know. 
and we'll have a little path coming up there. We're going to do some details. We'll do piles of logs, you know, for the fire and that type of stuff. That will work right there. It almost looks like stairs. It's fine either way. this one fairly simple in construction as all of these will be now actually what I want to do what I want to do is up thatch roof because you know you know what we're gonna do here I'm missing a couple of things so first and foremost yeah all right I'm gonna I'm gonna actually change this and I want a fireplace I want a fireplace so I'm gonna put the fireplace on this side What the fuck am I doing? There we go, bush size. I never use the buttons on the side of this Wacom. You might have noticed. attitude to have princess I think that's a really solid attitude to have okay so what I'm seeing here what I'm seeing here is thatched roofs actually have a pretty something feels off with the rotation hold on hold on a sec email hold on let's do this on the sketch let's dial this in All of that rotating and have been screwed me up. Come on. Close enough. Back to ink. Let's do a little bit at the bottom, a little bit of detailing at the bottom here. And this I definitely want to drop my brush size down for. Um, don't need to do that, we can do this. Let's, let's do five. Let's hit the roof detail. Let's see if we could do this without it being obnoxious. I 
should just put the symmetry tool on. But you know, first map of this particular project, or the first building of this particular project. Ah, someone remembers! Someone remembers! It's been a while since someone's done that for me. I, I, I'm practicing, I'm testing something here. I'm testing. Oh, I wonder if I should actually do it the other way around. I don't think know if it's gonna make a difference. He'll be here in a second, Princess. We're gonna do this and I'm gonna zoom out and we're gonna see if this works or not. going to be fine. I think that's going to be fine. It's ultimately, we're just drawing a texture. We're just drawing a texture, right? You can't even see the individual lines, so that works. That's it safe. That's it safe on that bad boy. I'm okay with that. And I think what we're going to do is the other three buildings are going to have the same type of roof, and the barn is going to be wood. And that's how one reason or one way we'll be able to distinguish the bar. That will be magic, that will. Let's see if we can get these buildings done. And like draw some paths as to why, why, why. Okay, I guess we're just rotating it this way. Wine, please, sir. Princess Struga has demanded it. Wine would be a little a glass of red wine. First one in quite a while. Woohoo, 100k Sesterceus. What are we talking about, Noble? Oh, Princess says hi, Jack. He waved. Um, what, 100k Sesterceus, what, what are we talking about here? Oh, you have a 100k channel currency? You know what? So there's, there's an interesting little thing I have to share with you. Um, there is a good chance I will be hiring a social media manager. And he has promised me that he is going to get our channel currency dialed in and have emotes and things like that that you will be able to start using your channel currency on. He's gonna he's gonna be working on all of my social media platforms, including Twitch, and he's gonna make it much more better. Hey, David, be glass. Hello. Noble, we will be we will be finding that out together, my friend. I've got to, I've just got to sit down, get the um, contract dialed in, kind of have heart palpitations on the volume of money I'll be spending on it, be reckless like I normally am, and then, um, then we'll do it, hopefully you'll start seeing some changes here shortly. But 
but the uh, the objective is for me to have a much 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 stronger presence everywhere and he's got the chops he's got the chops let me tell you so we're gonna we're gonna see if it's gonna work oh and one of our business objectives is to drive actual sales to noble dwarf so there is actually a um there's a, a part of this that is a business partnership between you and myself. All right, so what have we got? Um, oh, by the way, um, just for David here, a David, a David, we are working on 12 maps for Troll Lord Games Going from a four to a hamlet to a village to a keep tower, Martin Bailey, 45 military camp, castle, city with fortifications, town, city, metropolis, and a greater castle. So 12 maps in all. These colored segments represent either an entire page, half a page, or quarter page. I did, uh, I'm drawing all of the maps on one canvas. I'll give them to Troll Lord as individual pieces. And I'm hoping that it doesn't take 500 hours to do. The, the objective is to get it much quicker than that. So we'll see. We'll see. It's not a fold out, but they are considering poster. They th said it would be a cool poster. All right, let's, um, I'm dilly dallying, but I'm hanging out with friends. This is, this is what happens when you hang out with friends, right? Um, I want a door. Where, where's my door gonna be? Um, they've got like a back door and they've got a front door the front door the front door let's up back to 10 little wooden overhang maybe with some steps coming down they got a couple of little rocks in the garden All right. let's set up another one let's do the barn let's do the barn um, No, I don't want it to be 500 hours. I don't want it. I don't want it to be a hundred-hour project. I don't want it to be a 50-hour project, but it probably will be. But I, I kind of, I've got to get faster, 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 faster. So I want, I want this project to be good enough, good enough, good enough. They, 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 it's not like I could draw every single one of these maps to the detail that I normally do, right? Which is 20, 30, 40 hours. I can't do 20, 30, 40 hours on each of these individual maps. So it's got to be good enough for the print scale as that. Move on. But I, I want it to look awesome, you know, with the, net, with the end result. My day job is um, good. I mean, the fact that I have a day job is, is incredible, right? I mean, I must be grateful even for that type of thing. Oh, barn, 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 barn with wood. Made out of wood. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, the fact that I have a job, it is a... I work remotely. I work from home. I think a lot of bosses have found out just how companies can continue just fine. Thank you very much. Without... Uh, uh, with, with employees being remote. Cracking. 
Have I seen this chippy kraken? Oh, look. From Noble Dwarf themselves. Who dreams up this stuff? That's too cute. That's too cute. Alright. Wood running that way or wood running down? I've never built a barn. Which which way would the wood go? Well, they'd have joists coming down and then joists. Joists, there's a word. Yeah. I know Noble Dwarf is a is a carpenter type. I just said a carpentry word. Tip Toolman Taylor, that's me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, don't know what that is. Let's pretend I never did that. And do I want? You know, do I want to? No, I'm not. I'm not going to mess around with it. I'm not, I was. I was thinking, do I want to actually do the? Um, oh, I should be doing booty sales for this. Fuck it. Yeah, do I want to use Photoshop Symmetry Tool? And apparently I've decided no. Computer says no. Stick with the turn. I'll stick with the turn. All right. If anywhere has got a hole in the roof, it's the barn. hole in the barn will kind of like imply a little bit more solidly that it is a barn. What am I missing here? What have I done? Okay, so that, 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 oh, I did this in the wrong place. That's what's wrong here. Which means this is in the wrong place. Which means this, this is in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place. We're all in the wrong place. Did, is that right? Because this is the top of the roof. So do, 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 do. yeah, you see, these do, these don't alternate. There you go. More like that, right? And then, well, did I have that in the right place? Did, 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 did. No, 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 no. Why am I confusing myself? This goes... Just just do one board at a time, Faden. I'm missing one here. That's what's throwing me off. That's what's throwing me off. Now we're cocking on gas. So that would that 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 then here, right? Alright, so miss one, draw one. Miss one, draw one. There. 
Okay, and if I really get stupid, which I'm not going to do, but I am going to do. Just get a little bit of detailing in on these. Just, just a squidge. I feel like we're missing, we're missing one here. Oh, oh. That should be here, right? And then that here. Yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of our sketch in the background. See how that's turned out. Oh, that's okay. Oh no, that that's nice. Let's get rid of the sketch here too. I'm actually okay with that. I'm okay with that. Let's get rid of the sketch on this boy right here. Yeah, I'm down. I think that looks like a barn. I added a weather vane, the type of roof, the fact that it's got a crack in the roof, and the fact that it also doesn't have a chimney showing. So I, I think that all helps understand that we're looking at a barn there. Hay bales. I like the idea of hay bales. Um. I'm not quite at that level of detailing yet, but I will forget. So before I forget, you know, it, we could also go to town on this. We're gonna draw a cart, we'll draw a horse. You know, we're, we're gonna get some details on this. I want to get three more buildings drawn. I want to get three more buildings drawn before we get too into the weeds on this. So, another thatch roof. Let, let's do let's do another thatch roof right here. And I need to up myself to a ten, right? Wasn't it ten? Who's making notes? Cause eat me. Cows grazing. Cows in the field. I ah, say I like that. I like that. Cows, sheep, yeah, we'll, we'll go nuts. We'll go nuts. Now we're also going to do thatch here, but we're going to do a slightly different thatch. Mm, you know what? Let's just on my sketch here, just as a guide. All right. Princess, did you get your new computer? Oh, I reasonably line them up. I'm actually a little surprised. Same sort of porch treatment. Now, 
Don't like it. Don't like it taking that back. I always reserve the right to take it back. Because the thatch has got to be thinner than what I just did. Put it off. It's not really a necessity. Whatever. Yeah, okay. I will drink to that, young lady. I will drink to that. I need, I need a chimney. Shoot. All right. Let's do a chimney in there. It almost feels like, because there's a barn here, I feel like this is one property. I feel like the chimney should be away from the barn. No particular reason, just for balance. Yeah, just for balance. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it here. size. Oh, you know what, while we're here. Here we go. Check our print size. I think that looks pretty good. Let's go to our sketch, get rid of the sketch in the background. Yeah, I, I think so. I think this little snippet is gonna look nice. one be wood too because I'm eventually going to turn this into a um, woodcutter's place and it'd be kind of neat if um, 
it, it kind of just thematically sort of fits, right? So, oh, I'm on the sketch layer. Let's rotate it just a speck. There we go. Interested in this printed on one sheet? I think that this, honestly, will be really pretty. Like this. Let's just rotate this sucker. Imagine this poster size. And you've got, you know, the Thorpe, the Hamlet, the village, the, the town, the city, the city with fortifications, the metropolis. You've got the keeps, the towers, the fortifications. But all there. Imagine with little labels on them. Even with a little population or something like that. You could have a key and a title or something. I think I think I personally would have that in my gaming room. I think it would look beautiful. I mean, I just think it captures part of the spirit of what we're about as tabletop wall players. This is why I can't shake not drawing them all together on the same sheet. I mean, yes, I could do them separately, then put them together. But I'm actually, when we get to colouring, we can merge all of our colouring together. You, know, I think it'll look, I think it'll look beautiful. I'm pretty damn sure this is going to be a beautiful map. Which sounds big-headed. It's not meant to be. I just think it's going to be freaking gorgeous. You, you know, Noble, you know we're going to try this out. That feels a little off-center. And my OCD isn't allowing that to slide. It, it just isn't. So I'm now going to fuck it up. So if, if we've got a path here, you know, this guy, I, I might give this guy a little workshop. Or a little work area. I think we're going to give this guy a little work area. Oh my god. You know, Princess, we have not done heists or anything in, in this channel since you've been gone. And I mean that. So I'm in. I'm in on the heist. You watch. I haven't I literally. We, uh, I don't know how many months you've been gone. We have not played any in-channel games since you've been gone. God, I mean that. It's a kind of a little sad. Oh, you do the boss too? Oh, okay. I'll get in on the boss action. What? Why? Go away. Alright, so I'm going to make this be El Wudo. Yeah, and you have screwed something up. Alright, here. It's fine. 
Princess Strega. Only Princess Strega won her. So I just lost cash. See, this is why I stopped playing games. This is why I stopped playing games. Because I kept getting snotted. I actually, I got more gold just from being in my own shadow than I ever have with the games. All right, just one more set of Rooney right here. Come on, come on, come on. gold that ain't bad that is not bad and if we are going to have a um, social media manager help us out with the channel then you'll actually be able to start actually doing things with your gold <sighs> sketch let's get rid of my sketch right here That's nice. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice little roof on him. I'm okay with that. Alright. One more and we're going to make it another thatch building. Yep. Alright, let's do it. And this guy, I think, here. Let's make it a little bit larger. Back up to ten. And I might position it a little bit more centrally between these trees. In fact, how, how do I know how much gold I've got? Here we wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. 1,000. I've been here since the beginning, I could argue. And I've got 1,000 gold. <laughs> I'm po. I'm po po. Um, yeah, the music, the music is actually... Um, God, what what is the what is the um it's a guy called Harris Heller. It's called Stream Beats. And he's actually he's a musician. And he became a streamer and he's got a YouTube channel. Uh, he's kind of good looking. And he's like apparently he had like a peak of a career and he's kind of come down. Now he's come coming back up again. And he gives a lot of advice to streamers, Twitch or YouTube or otherwise. He's constantly giving advice. And I, I like listening to him. And so um, he actually came up with some royalty free music. Free of charge. So people could actually have it going in the background on their channels. So you could avoid like copyright issues. Which, I mean, how fucking cool is that? Harris Heller. I actually intended to give the guy some money. I never actually remembered to do it, but I really must remember to actually donate something to him. Yeah, royalty free. Royalty free. Alright. Last building. Last building. Um, and on my, my sketch layer, okay, so that's easy to know because of the opacity. A little bit of a bigger building, this one, I think. But also a more interesting shape. We're going to actually... I don't know what this... Uh, uh, Princess, you're the, you're the architect amongst us. This shape house, does this have a particular, like, name? Like where, you know, you go from just a rectangular type of house to where you've got another bit and then the roof to like this bit. Come on. 
Jack, stop being a turd. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I got nothing more from here. I'll take L shaped. That I would take L shaped. I feel like there's probably technical terms. I'm not very good on parts of buildings, like what they're called and everything. Like past dormer windows, I'm kind of, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. this guy a front door right here and we're gonna apparently just draw on the map fucking randomly all right we're gonna go like that uh, 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 back the other way back the other way back the other way back the other way come on give me a sec give me a five give me a five my world's for five 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 three four six five i'm taking See, Princess, this has been a great stream, just having you back. Big hug. I am now going to throw a bunch of hay on the top of this roof. And I don't care if he likes it on that. Because he's got the biggest, poshest house in this form. That probably makes him a bit of a dick. You know what, let's just stay with this rotation real quick. Let's just stick with this. I didn't give this guy a fireplace. He has the biggest house in the Thor, and he doesn't have a fireplace. All right, we've got to fix that. We have to fix that. I'm actually not used to drawing fireplaces due to the scale that we actually normally are drawing at. Now, if I was a prepared little beanie, I would have a thatch pattern. And I would just be able to go select, fill, and voila, there would be thatch. But I'm not a prepared beanie. I'm a very unprepared beanie. There we go. Ipso facto, you get to watch me just do line, 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 line. At least you can sort of see my general approach. Big house, lots of kids. Actually, yeah, lots of kids. I was thinking like a mother. All right. Let's give this guy a fireplace. Let's give him a fireplace. Where do I want to throw his fireplace? You know, so I've got a fireplace here, and here, and here, and here. I don't want to put it here, because of this. It will feel odd. I feel like I want to throw it on the back, because none of these buildings have one like that. Like a nice fireplace right here. Yeah, maybe with a back door. Okay, so, let's give it a fireplace here. Not two fireplaces, because there's a Thorpe, and maybe this was the original house, and maybe it's got a little bit more grandeur than the others, but I don't want it to feel rich. I don't want it to feel like, you know, like the mayor lives here. That's not the stage we're at. Maybe we'll do that in the Hamlet. Maybe we'll actually take this same house and give him a second chimney in the Hamlet to show some growth. In the meantime, There was one fireplace over there. 
We'll give him another one later on. If he proves worthy, let's give him a back door. Uh, I'm not, you know... So I was going to say, I don't want to give him a little overhang. Um, but I actually think they would give themselves overhangs, right? Because they can stand on the back, uh, like the back step, rain's coming down, they don't give a shit, they're covered. I don't... Is that a luxury? Would you only do that in front of your house because of guests and shit? You know what? Yeah. Let's give this. <laughs> Draw doors, please, Faith. Okay. Ah, that's crooked, but it's close enough. You can't tell at print size. He's got a back step. Where he comes out with his pipe. With the river running by. Says to Charlie on his right. Evening Charlie. How goes the fishing? Ah. Second one will be a kitchen. Yes. But we'll give him that. When we move up to a hamlet. And Princess you didn't see this. <laughs> and you still don't get to see it now. Because of the way I'm fucking around. Why? 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 There we go. So this house that we're drawing now is here. So we're giving the second chimney at the Hamlet stage right here. Then he is, where is he? He's around there. He's there. Yeah. Where is he? I don't know. But we'll add to him. We'll, we'll give him little extensions as we go. This is coming out okay. This is coming out okay. Give this guy some paths. Get a little rocks. Some bushes and trees. Some cabbages in the garden. Cauliflowers. Who the fuck doesn't like cauliflower? Get some cauliflowers in the garden. Horse. Some cows and some sheep. I'd live here. That's what we're talking about. Right. But before we can move in, we must thatch the roof. Hey, Box is here. going to finish this roof and then we'll call it a night because that will be a nice stopping point and we will then resume tomorrow and we are going to actually draw in the paths and some of the details we're, I'm going to add a chicken we're doing a chicken in this place there's going to be a chicken on every single one of these maps that's what we're doing we're adding a chicken and so on the metropolis map he's a dot but there will be a chicken But yeah, so what we'll do is we'll stop it after this. And tomorrow we'll come back, we'll draw in the patch, we'll draw in the details, we'll draw in some animals and everything. And then we'll actually, we're not going to be colouring tomorrow. I, I kind of want to leave the colouring until... I don't know. We've got a batch. I think once we've got the top three done, we might colour the top three. That'd be kind of fun. So tomorrow, we're actually going to be um, working on the Hamlet. And Princess, because I know you're a role player, we actually took the actual sizes of the Thought, the Hamlet, etc. from Dungeons & Dragons. We looked at Pathfinder. Uh, that much is too much of an angle. So let, let's actually, let's rotate these. Come, please, please Photoshop. I will wrestle you to the ground and nut you. An Avery. An Avery. Rooster? Rooster's possible. 
Did you ever see your finished Avery and Gaxmore? See, I think that's where we lost you. I, I don't think you got to see your finished Avery. So I actually have a project to add street labels to Gaxmore. So we will be firing up Gaxmore. We will be taking a look at that. So we will be taking one more jaunt through Gaxmore Town. You say it's your go-to suggestion, but it's actually you ended up on two maps, so it's, that's okay. It's like Brian McWhorter's Skee-Ball Factory or Skee-Ball Machine. It's okay, it's your go-to, and it gets on a lot of the maps, too. Like, if Brian was here right now, he'd want a Skee-Ball on this, and he's not getting one. I can't put a Skee-Ball in a Thorpe. I'm sorry about this, by the way. They're like... My fingers just sometimes just don't register with this Wacom tablet. Like, I'm rotating it and it's going now. And I don't have to blame Wacom or Photoshop or my fingers. I'm kind of leaning towards my fingers. I know that that should be a little rough, but that's just taking the piss. I just did it again. This this guy apparently has just got the strand of straw sticking out from his roof. That's a fire hazard, that is, Carl. That's a fire hazard. Cut that strand down. All right. All right, well, let's do some of these buttons I can't see. That one. Ooh. Cool. All right, so that's that's the start of our little Thorpe. And what we'll end up doing, and I've still got like that on, is we're going to start to tease out these little suggestions of paths where people walk between each other, right? And where there are paths, and this would be just a big, huge, like a work area here, like this. And they probably cut through, you know, a little bit like this. Because they, they walk to the barn a lot, but then once they get into the barn, it comes because this. And this, like, that's his field. This is, this is maybe his field. So we'll, we'll definitely have a well-trampled path right here too. And then, yes, so we, Bob, we're definitely, definitely, definitely going to be coming around the mountain as she comes. Now I'm going to get rid of the sketch layer. Definitely going to get rid of the sketch layer. Now, later iterations of this actually have a road leaving I think it's but what did I do? Is that the barn? I think that's the barn. That's the barn. That is the barn. So our road in the future kind of comes through here like this so i kind of want to actually start implying this here like maybe there's just some nice well trodden path um and maybe maybe there's a you know a distant sort of town or a village over there that they occasionally you know trample out to maybe the other fields are down that road So actually, let's let's get rid of our sketch on, in this section altogether. And 
then actually just put part of it back because I just deleted the number five that I wanted to keep on there. Uh, that is a terrible number five. Oh, I'm still on rotate. <laughs> what, what is the button for bush size? I have literally owned this tablet for like 10 years. You wouldn't know it. All right, so five. So... Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll do something like this and we'll, you know, I'm going to, we're going to clean this up. This, this guy probably doesn't walk to the farm too much, but he definitely walks around his house because he fishes in this area. So all of that's going to be kind of like cleared out and well trodden. And of course, they're always walking between houses to each other. And so we're basically, we're basically just creating these paths where our little sims live, right? Where they actually interact with the world around them. And if, we, if we're going to do something like this, maybe this does that. And I think what we'll do here is we're going to get rid of this. I feel like that's... What, what is that? I don't know where that came from. Anyway. And we're, we're just going to kind of... We'll create like a little patch of grass or something here. That doesn't get a lot of love from anyone trampling all over it. Alright, so that is ink. That is ink. It was just ignoring my eraser. Alright. And I think it's gonna, it's gonna basically look something like this, path-wise. So if you come up here, you're gonna walk around. And maybe there's like this sort of communal area where they're all kind of trampling around. Definitely a little bit around the house. Especially because this is a work area. We'll do whatever there. I think, I think we're gonna get into painting this sucker soon. Maybe, maybe actually the grass should do more like, uh, well, you know what? He doesn't come, yeah, he, that's going to come out more like that. You know, we'll do more like path, grass, etc. Like so. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna work with that as a path system, and we're gonna come back tomorrow, we're gonna start adding a, a rooster, a cow, a sheep, maybe a horse, cart, that type of thing, buckets, pile of wood outside the houses, and I'm actually really tempted to colour the damn thing. I might do that, or we may go over to the hamlet, we'll see. I think that's a good stopping point. That is our thought. Oh wait, there's 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 a raid. Oh, I'm sorry. I am in my own world. I am completely in my own world. Isn't there a little Alyssa thing that you could do to get my attention? Dave, thank you so much. I love you, man. Cheers. I really appreciate you dropping by. Yeah, you raid and run because I'm about to actually take the raid and ditch. Um, I'm just going to quickly explain to everyone what we're working on here. We're actually working on a 12-map project for Troll Lord Games. It is a Thorpe, a Hamlet, a village... Uh, a town, a city, a city with fortifications and a metropolis. You can kind of see it's scaling up. And a keep, a Martin Bailey castle, which is a natural sort of evolution from it. A 45 military camp, which is not. A castle and a great castle. So that's the project we're working on. And we've been working on actually sort of uh, this top area, the Thorpe. We have some sketches for the other areas, let me sort of bring that up for you all. The, the, the coloured sections, by the way, are just... Each one is a page 
or a half page or a quarter page, I can turn them off so things look a little bit clearer. So this is the project we're working on. And this in the top left is our Thor. And we're going to add a lot more detail, obviously, to that and get into colouring. But that's our five building settlement. We're going to come across into a hamlet, which will have 25 buildings. And it's actually an evolution from the Thor. That's a sketch, obviously, right now. But the, the buildings, you can see there's a lot of the same buildings in the same place. The same five are in there, but we've now added another 25. And we're going to evolve some of the richness of the original inhabitants, too. And you can see there next to a river, we actually draw the width of the river. And we throw a guy on the other side, because no one likes Murphy. And we're going to then take that to a village. And again, it's an evolution. How does, how does a hamlet grow? Why? What would that look like? I think this village layout actually looks really sexy. I'm really interested about how well this is going to go. And we're doing all of this on one canvas. We're, they're going to get printed separately, uh, you know, obviously laid out in a book and everything. But there's a possibility that this sucker's going to be a poster too, and that's kind of super sexy at that point. There will be a keeper, Martin Bailey, blah, 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 blah. I'm probably, probably going to make them a keeper, Martin Bailey, in a 45 military camp around this town. This is our sketch for what our town is going to be. 500 buildings now that we're getting up to. The little hash marks are where we've got to add some buildings. We've got our hills. And you can see that we've got our river. So right here is going to be where our original village is located. Then we're going to come up to this bad boy. And this is going to be our city without walls. And we're actually going to move it up onto some hills and there'll be some... Uh, like churches and temples which is a reason why people are kind of moving up there our little village will still be on that map this will be a walled section of the same city and that's actually i mean that's pretty close to done um that's pretty close we've got a lot of cleanup and etc to do on it i want to remove all of the wharves but you get the idea and this will be our metropolis and it's largely honestly finished. We've got a lot of cleanup to do on it and all of the colouring. But this will be our metropolis right here. And that's going to be 5,000 buildings. Or I, I think the D&D definition has a range and 25,000 people falls in the metropolis range. I would argue that, but it's a D&D definition and that's what we're working against. So this is kind of the project. So tomorrow... We're, we're going to hit up the hamlet. And by the way, just, just so anyone uh, that is around, um, this is the type of thing I normally do. This is Lokatoy. This is a half-drawn city. So this is why Troll Lord approached me, because they were like, cool, we want this type of thing, but we want all of the stages of how you actually got there in the first place. So I just have that in the background because this is going to be another project that we potentially work on later this year. We started it last year and the client switch gears did another city with us. And now they want us to actually come back to this city. So something we come back to in the future. But right now it's all about the trolls. And I think this as a poster is just going to be fantastic. I think this is going to look really good. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. All of you, thank you for sharing your time with me. It's very much appreciated. We are just creating worlds here. And I like that you could be here as part of the creation process. I love you all. I'm back tomorrow night. And we are going to plop some cows and sheep down. Because that is what you do when you create worlds. Until then, love you all. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow night. We're going to continue with the Troll Lord Games Castle Keeper's Guide. Night, everyone.